and welcome to our short trip into the country. This tour will take you on a more scenic route from Chiguanas to Tabakit through Trinidad's Central Range on the Brasso Caparo Valley Road. From here, you can either get to Mayaro in the southeast in less than two hours or to our busy second city, San Fernando, at the western end of the central range of hills in less than an hour. Let's start our journey at the makeshift roundabout by El Jafar Bar in Londonville, where the Queen and King supermarket is located on an incline on the right. At that tiny roundabout, make a C and drive south past Londonville Government Primary School and the Masjid al Nur Mosque on the left. Along the Brasso Caparo Valley Road, Londonville is scattered with small shops of local food vendors on the left. The Epic Roti Shop and Japs Roti are just two of several roti shops in the area. After passing the blazing red building where at Japs Roti satisfaction is guaranteed, do not be misled by turning into Raven Sal, that first road on your left immediately after Japs. That will lead you to the sand quarries and way off route. Instead, proceed straight forward, always driving south. On your right, you would notice the entrance to Cashew Gardens with the Cashew Market Vegetable Place at the junction opposite a Wasa pump station. Do not enter that road. It will lead you to the highway by Chase Village flyover, but only through the base in Castle Field. And you can get out of that maze only if you know the road. Continue to drive south, straight along the Basso Caparo Valley Road, bypassing Thompson Road on your right through the small village of Palmis. The Fu Yin Chinese restaurant has found a home there on the right, and directly opposite that is a restaurant, a popular bar, and small grocery watching the world go by. Keep driving until you see Fats Bar on your right. They sell the best boiled chana my stomach has ever seen. As we go further into the country, fish, vegetable stalls, farm produce sold from backs of pickup trucks and garbage sheds converted into outdoor markets have become the norm. Let's stop to chat with Omish, the fish man at Todd's Road, Arena Junction, and Dylan, the vegetable man, not too far off, as they talk about their COVID experience. I've been selling fish for about five, six years. It has been great until you well, have to say the COVID affected us. Compared to how it was before COVID, COVID-19, yeah, it affected us really bad. Fish prices, everything just went from, have say from zero to a hundred real quick within months. Anything you wish for, what you sign, you get everything, clean and crips. I have a different variety of fish. Uh, I have boche, salmon, kokro, kingfish, uh, fried dry shrimp, shark, I have cascado, I sell moonshine, any kind of fish that you really want. We have my crystal is um, um fresh seafood, right? Currently li uh, located in Tojud, Kaparo Valley Road, Arena Junction. Uh, number 343-4529 so anytime you're ready for fresh fish you can just call me whatsapp me i do deliveries i also clean shrimps Yeah. I've been here about a couple of months, about four or five months right now. Things are real hard right now. And how are you coping? How are you coping? Well, as I said, things hard, but I have to live, you know. I have to live, one day at a time. Things are real stiff, real stiff. As the journey continues, you will see a bus stop on the right and Todd's Road on your left. 
do not turn in there because after about an hour or so, you will find yourself in Arima. Instead, look forward, shoot ahead towards the wall of green. You will soon find yourself in Kaparu, the center of commerce in the countryside. The A and A family supermarket on the right, just at the bend, and the Kaparo hardware on your left, not too far off, welcome you to the Kaparo village. Keep driving and cross the almost bridgeless bridge as you go past the Kaparo Agri Center on the left and the popular coconut man on the right. If he's not there, shout towards the house. He will come running with a smile to serve you. Opposite both Sherry's Bar and Chickland Kaparo Road on the right, the famous train water tank still stands tall, observing the growing little country town on the left. Shoprite Grocery in Kaparo with its variety store and the pharmacy is the hub of this little country setting. Vendor Natasha Khan, who sells vegetables besides Shoprite, speaks to us. So, Natasha, mm -hmm. good morning. How are you this morning? Good morning. Fine, thank you. Nice. So, tell me, how long have you been here? How long have you been here? 15 years. 15 years? Yes. And what do you sell? I sell vegetables, provision. Name the vegetables. Okay. Pimento, sweet potato, sweet pepper, ginger, fudgy. Pineapple, pig, size, celery, the whole full works in the market. Okay. How has COVID affected you? Not much, you know. Not really affected me. Uh huh. No. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about this COVID thing? What do you feel about the COVID? Yes. Well, it's something very serious. So you be cautious about it. Mm -hmm. You took your vaccine? Yeah, I took the vaccine. I took the um, Sinopharm. Okay. Did you have any effect on you? No, not really. Just a slight fever and that was okay. So no problem. Everything was good. Kaparo can boast about having the only tire shop and sawmill in the area, both on the left. Past that and around the corner, a popular bar on the left offers surprising treats. While further ahead, the vegetable stall on the right sometimes offers night market. Let's stop at Tuki Man a.k.a. up top, a mechanic whose shop on the left beside a small hardware is the pride of this tiny place. Tuki man, how are you this morning? Well, I good for now. How long have you been here? Let's say going on four months. Four months? Yeah. And how has, how has business been since? Well, it started off real slow. It's still slow now, but sometimes it has been plenty and sometimes it is it's according to. Has COVID affected you? I see it, it affecting me right now. Well, I now open up and thing, but the, the, the place real slow. People not want to spend the money because I have to save money. And also. What can you make for your business as a mechanic? It's a very nasty job. And if you do like grease, you can't be in this job. You have to love grease. So, that is number one. A reliable, on time, and let's do house calls. The small incline you will meet upon the parting Tuki Man leads downward towards the village of Mamural. Do not get distracted by that temptation of this little village. It will lead you off track. Continue ahead, always driving south. And at a, another small bridgeless bridge, you will find an abandoned breeding unit on the left and the road to Brasopedra also to your left. Do not go there, but follow the windy road. You will see a blue welcome to Flanagan town sign hidden in the bushes on your left. After a few more small bridges, we continue and we locate the Ramuta family where Brett Ramuta, a popular mechanic, welcomes us. Well, I have been a mechanic home here for 15 years. But I've been in the trade since about 19 years. I have my uncle right next door here. I walk all over to Iran. I have come inside here and open up. It's not again though. Out here, it's a real mechanic, it's a smart people, so it's just a healthy people. 
And you work real nice, you work real good work. You work a hard work, it's a nice work. Yeah. I lost one of my parents in COVID in 2020, 21. I lost my father, the most help I had. The most, most help I had in 2021. It's going on the 15th of December, 2021. He's the guy to do everything for me. Controlling plenty. Fast place, controlling home, controlling everything. Yeah. And so that I want affection and so some days will be good, some days we work slow down. You understand? Know yeah. But other than that, I have to make it do. Some days I make money, some days I make no money, some days you know, they run good, some days they run bad. Yeah, other than that we have to go with the flow. I fix all kinds of vehicles. Nissan, Mitsubishi, Honda, Benz, Audi, everything, everything. All types. Full works. Engine, transmission, gearbox, diff. Suspension wise, everything. Oil change, tune up, full service, diesel and both gas and hybrid. Flanagan Town proper is a scenic, sleepy place since 1903. It was hoped that it would develop into a town since much cocoa was being produced in that area. And the train line eventually passed through that village. However, when cocoa prices fell in 1921, hopes for a town was crushed. The family-owned community gas station, now being operated by Ronnie Ubudu Singh, gives us a brief history of Flanagan Town and he also touches on how COVID has affected small businesses in that area. I've been here for the last 33 years. People live as one. It, it's, it's a nice rural village. But um, since COVID, things have changed. COVID has impacted on business, economy more so, and that has had a ripple effect um, with a lot of social issues, you know. Um, crime has infiltrated areas like this. Criminals are leaving the town areas and coming up here and committing crimes. Uh, I have had a, a robbery here a couple of months ago. Uh, so, my business has gotten slow. And there's not much activity as before has been hard on, on small businesses like this, in, in especially areas like this. As we leave the gas station and approach the T-junction, the Litung's bar is on your left and Flanagan Health Centre right opposite. Turn right, drive past Flanagan Town ROC School on the left, which is also the St. Bartholomew's Catholic Church on weekends. Not too far away, on the right, the white walls of the graveyard loom in sight. Pass another bridgeless bridge and drive up the hill, but slow down at the T-junction at the top. If you turn right, you would find yourself at La Vega and on the precise flyover, ignore that turn. Instead, peep downhill and drive straight ahead towards Brasso. The newly built former Brasso police station on the right is now the admin building for the Children's Authority. As we approach the forest of elegant thick trees, we pass the Coco Estate on the right. The old Coco House still stands strong as the dazzling sunlight shines down upon it. Follow the road and you would soon find yourself confronted by the Tabakate Composite School at the top at another T-junction. You may turn right and move towards Guayacara and Williamsville and continue towards San Fernando, Princess Town or the Barandara Stadium. However, a twist in the tail occurs if you turn left for you would pass Nollis Tunnel and further towards Rio Claro and beyond that Mayaro. Enjoy the rest of your trip and I hope that you have enjoyed this scenic drive with me. Please click the like button and subscribe for more exciting videos from me. Bye for now and see you in the next episode.